Hello and welcome to the Essence of Knowledge Satsang. This is a special group for the participants of the program of Path of Knowledge. Ruchika is asking, I want to ask how should we write the notes for the chapters? Just the same summary or in our own words? It is very easy. You need to listen and below each topic you should write the main points. There is no need to write exactly that which I said. No need. Main points. But do not simply write uh, the things that are shown in the slides. Because in the slides, only few words are given. That, that are not, the slides are not important. You need to understand what was said. Write down two or three sentences. So that you remember them. Important things. Suppose I am giving a long example of flying elephants and all this. I have given all these things. No, no need to write all that. What is the purpose of the notes? To discipline your memory so that you don't simply listen and forget. The mind should get a hint that this is important which I am writing is important. And then it goes in the memory. So only the symbolic effort is enough that I have written down what, what was said. And if you read it again, the whole lesson will be recalled. No need to listen to the video again. So yes, your own words, my words, but no need to simply copy everything in detail there. And do not also be lazy and write just half a sentence there. Anyway, if you make a mistake, when the review is done, I am doing the review and uh, I'll ask you to correct it. 90% of the time I find the mistakes. Sometimes I let go of the mistake. Sometimes I cannot find it. So no problem at all. Because the detail is so much. There is so much detail there. How much can you write? And how much can I review? So try to simply understand. Understanding is more important than writing, copying, etc. Try to see why it was said. Why it is truth. Or why it is false. Because we don't know whatever I said is true or false. And that is your job. You are the seekers. Your job is to listen and conclude something from it. Those conclusions are more important. But yes, we do not allow redefinition of the words. We, you cannot use some other word there which is your own <laughs> keyword. So why is that? Because I won't come to know what you understood. For example, when I say existence, you cannot write your own word there and say world. Existence is witnessing itself. Let us say, I say like this. And if you write there, world is witnessing itself. Because probably world and ex existence, they mean same for some people. But that will be very wrong. But if you write existence is looking at itself, probably that is okay. Because witnessing also means simply looking. There is no special meaning of the witnessing. But existence has a special meaning. And then we should not substitute it. And although there are many words for existence like Brahman, uh, universe, whole, but still we stick to one so that there is no confusion. And your mind will also get confused that that day it was universe, today it is existence. Which one, which one is the truth? Which is the witness? So it is for your own um, benefit to keep the defined words, the main words as they are and try to explain and try to write in the uh, content in brief, essence, essentially. And do not leave any chapter. Even I say do not leave any topic there. Inside every chapter there are four or five topics which are already given in the notes. Because if you leave something, you will find that if you proceed in the program, you will not understand what it is. Sometimes we think, oh, this much is okay and I'll skip it. I'll skip the topic. But later on you will find that uh, now nothing is clear because the key thing is gone. Key thing is missing. So everything will look like puzzle. So the program is so short so that you don't take a long time. But then it is so compressed that you can't afford to miss single word. That is the problem. If I want to make it too detailed, then you will spend many months doing it. If I want to make it very short like Upanishad, <laughs> there, there is a chance that nothing will be understood. So once in a while you can skip the sentences, no need to write. But whenever I say this is the conclusion, this is the final thing, truth is unchanging, yes, 
that is the conclusion that must be written down and whatever arguments were given probably you can skip one or two or you can write in short that these these the examples were given conclusion truth is that which is unchanging and i'll be very happy i'll give you full marks there is marking for the lessons also so hopefully i gave you more detail than you asked it's, it's probably beneficial for others also hmm vishakha is saying i have cleared my seventh lesson till now i listen to each topic each line many many times but still feel feel like i am missing so much each lesson is like the ocean and that's what i was saying right now to make it short some things are given in short form so my suggestion will be you can listen to it uh, again but uh, give it some time take a break there is no need to do one lesson per day or more lessons per day there is no need let let it get absorbed first you know writing helps in absorbing so you listen to it once write it down whatever you can then go back before submitting for review you can go back in the evening or next day and check again and you will see that there is more clarity now because some processing has happened in the mind in the background so that's what i was saying that sometimes things are compressed and you don't know what to do and there is one more thing that the program goes in reverse it is upside down program so the main essence is given first then we start explaining it is in reverse so even if you think that i don't understand right now what it is still you will find that in coming chapters it is explained in more detail the program is in reverse this is how everything is in is uh, is on path of knowledge if you read the sp- scriptures <laughs> they tell you the basic thing first and then argument after argument then counter argument then again argument it is like this why is that there is a reason behind it it is to save the time of those who know already because you guys many of you guys are very very experienced you have read many things you have been to many gurus before and you don't need to be taken like this like babies so they can stop whenever they are happy with the uh, knowledge okay i came to know why this was like this there is no need to go further in the program you can leave the program although it is very very beneficial to complete the program but some people are there so i don't want to keep them waiting till the last to get the main point after 20 videos now i say unchanging is the truth and that means i have simply wasted their time so it goes in reverse like about the truth only first we set up the criteria what is true what is false then comes the justification then comes the examples then comes in the explanation why the changing things are names and forms so initially you will think i don't understand anything but grasp the main point and continue after that step number 2 you will get a lot of time to do the verification and verification means this only that to understand what was told finally so that is why this meeting is there that is why this uh, satsang is there so that if you are stuck somewhere i don't know what i am listening to i don't understand all these words because it can be overwhelming for new people so you can get it clarified here and i'll tell you the basic and i'll also tell you that the details are in coming chapters like the first cha- chapter gives chapter gives you the whole knowledge it is very strange and i say that no need to <laughs> no need to learn anything after this but obviously we don't know how this conclusion was arrived at so the rest of the program is about it so on the first day itself if you ask why did you say existence is like this and all that so timeless eternal whatever i said we don't know so if you come and ask me i'll simply say it is like this because of this and you will get all the details in the coming chapter coming lessons but you see even after describing that thing in detail even after you don't understand then meeting then you should come here and ask me and the step 3 is very clear that if you don't understand it and you cannot verify its truth then you should not continue in the program actually this is the only program on this planet which says like this do not do it if you don't if you are not convinced of its truth because the path of knowledge is not about giving you blind beliefs that believe me i said this no no it must be your own truth it must be your own experience so you will get a lot of time 
Sometimes we give you, give you one month to verify everything. And do you need to listen to everything again? No, no. Just read your notes. That is another purpose of the notes. That the conclusions are written there. The definitions are written there. Hopefully you have taken the main points. And now the whole picture is in front of you. Now you can do the verification. Like when the movie starts. Suspense movie. You don't know who is who. Why he said this to this person. What is the problem in between these two people? You don't know. But as the story proceeds, things become more and more clear. <laughs> in the end, you, the secret is revealed. And the only thing is, in our program, the secret is revealed first. And then the why, how, what, all these things are given later. It is reverse of a suspense movie. So there you will, in the end, you will be able to put together the whole thing. This is the style here. And if you want to go forward direction, <clears throat> not in reverse, then you take up the 3D program or Anugyan. Very short, like few hours. In few hours, the whole thing is given, essential knowledge. And it is very easy. It is easier than our this full program. No need to write, no, no exams, no verification, nothing. So some people, they get it in one attempt. Some people will need to repeat some things. Iterations. He said this, but he said this. Something different now. Why? And then you will need to go back and check. Or you can simply ask in the meeting. No special experience is required to know the truth. No big practice is needed. Somebody needs to point out what you are witnessing. Somebody needs to point out who you are right now, right here. Because if something is true, it will be true daily, weekly, yearly, after many years. Everything is happening in this truth. So we don't need any special experience, no special practice. Whatever is being told is your ordinary experience. That is covered up in ignorance. That ignorance is removed. Very simple. This is the direct path. This is the beauty of direct path that it is so direct that nothing is needed. Effortless. So, listening, yes, listening alone is enough. While listening only, you will get the validation most of the time. There is no need to separately do validation for some people. Some people are not that capable, so we give them some time. And I am always present if something is not getting validated. How is my daily life revealing the truth? If you want to know this, yes. Even after listening to the whole lecture, all 30 videos, if that is not getting cleared, then I am here. Nothing to worry. <laughs> there is no special practice. There is nothing in the end which is going to reveal the truth. No. It is so simple and it is so ordinary that you will think that this knowledge does not even look like knowledge. The spirituality is nothing special actually. The illusion is special. Yes. How is this vast illusion appearing here? Why this human form is here, or why this whole world, that is very special. Not the truth. Truth is so simple. It is like a joke. So you will know. Continue in the program. But that does not make it small. It is very big knowledge. Very important. So anyway, Ruchika is saying, since doing Trigan, my mind has gone a bit blank. I don't feel any strong emotions. Even when I'm angry, I can see that in a minute. Now I don't worry and even feel guilt, which was my major motivation, a big task. Even don't feel extremely positive emotions. Very good. This is called progress. That uh, the Trigan or the 3D, we call it Trignosis nowadays, only few hours. Three hours hardly, I think. And uh, it has such a great effect because directly it is shown who you are and what this mind is and what this world is. The whole illusion is shattered. This, this one sitting with the Guru, probably you have done the 3D from Ramakant. So yes, I heard that recording a little bit. So you are already getting the fruits. We call them fruits. Fruits of knowledge. What is the fruit of knowledge? Peace. And not feeling anything extreme. The positive emotion is also some kind of violence in the mind, isn't it? <laughs> it is simply activity of the mind. And the negative is obviously undesired. So peace. And this peace is called bliss in spiritual terminology. No worry, no guilt, no this, no that. And uh, no goals also. You know, the negative is gone, but the positive will also go away. It is like clean up. 
because positive negative they are dual so if one thing is too much the other thing comes again it is the law it will oscillate but uh, this makes this knowledge brings an end to this monkey mind activity it is still there the mind is still there but at least it is not doing anything unnecessary so don't worry if you don't feel any strong emotion the emotion is still there it's not dead sometimes there will be strong but your awareness will be such that it won't have any kind of effect not good not bad you will not dance also and you will not cry also this is called equanimity many traditions samata so you are already getting getting the fruits you know how lucky you are you see now this program will solidify it because sometimes what happens people get the trigan 3d for one week they are in ecstasy <laughs> i am brahman after that the life takes over isn't it the small pettiness of the life becomes important and they forget they forget everything so it is an introduction yes but it is not proper path of knowledge trigan it will give you a taste but if you want to keep it like this like we say if that is your path if you like this path then do that which i say which your guru says and the word guru says he will transform you into that kind of seeker who is not deviated from the path by small things sometimes there is something major in the life and you forget about the path of knowledge and everything is maya you know it's not a big problem because it goes away as long as you come back on the track it's all good and the guru is there to bring you on the track course correction <laughs> i say it is like course correction of a ship the ship is going in the right direction fine and the captain is sitting there but a storm comes and the ship is deviated you know it goes somewhere else now the captain will turn it back on the right path so this program is more uh, a bigger effort to walk on the path path of knowledge and you will say that uh, is not specifically knowledge now it is a spiritual path knowledge happens very quickly easily then this walking is for your entire life and then the step number 4 comes isn't it which is not present in 3d or anugyan anywhere anywhere step number 4 gives you the training to stay on the path that is called the awareness practice it teaches you to make it a lifestyle so people are not very confident that this is my path i want to do it for whole of my life they are not confident because they don't know what it is so we we give them a taste sample which is trigyan or anugyan or my videos on youtube here and there articles and if they like it like a voice in their heart says this is my path then they join this program otherwise nobody will do this kind of effort you know our lives are so busy a lot of struggle already who will take up one more job but you will do this program only if you are attracted to this so my suggestion is <clears throat> you are already getting the fruits continue and if whenever you get doubt that whether this fruit is good <laughs> or something bad something which should not happen on the path of knowledge then you should ask me or you can ask any senior person on the path i'll give you simple example that sometimes you say i don't even feel like watching a movie with my family it is totally a stupid activity <laughs> sometimes we feel like this we used to do that with a lot of excitement before but now no it's boring i want the peace i want satsang but uh, if a thought comes in your mind i don't want to do my job i don't want to go on job i don't want to earn money now this is a little bit extreme isn't it so for the small things you need not ask me but if you are taking a big decision in your life which is based on your knowledge spiritual knowledge or your changes that have happened in you and it is it is going to cause a big consequence then you should consult knowledgeable people wise people because probably they have gone through this hurdle should i leave the job should i leave my family should i go to the caves should i go to rishikesh to spend my whole life these are major activities major decision there you should take care otherwise small in your small uh, daily activities you will see changes and that fine no problem at all it will cause changes if it is not causing any change no need to worry because you are already on track if your mind was already pure and uh, already blissful there was nothing much in the mind and uh, after the knowledge also nothing much is happening <laughs> that means you are already good no need to do anything extreme 
so finally you know that and truth is simple we don't need to do too much yes. mm. but sometimes we need to go through that uh, colorful <laughs> Uh, adventure also because i have also done that and uh, finally we come to know there is disappointment or whatever that yes something um, deeper is needed now but the good news is after the knowledge you can again do the adventure no problem fully knowing what it is now there won't be any disappointment the knowledge is the biggest disappointment <laughs> there is no, there is nothing nothing is gained here so what will you do for whole of your life some kind of adventure like i am doing this teaching and all these things guru ship is a big adventure actually and believe me that is the best adventure not going in the jungle and all this that is the that is more challenging plus that is the punya whatever we call punya but you showing somebody the truth is going to cause a big change so it is useful adventure so those who want to do it <laughs> they most welcome you join the madness that i am doing but this happens to each and every seeker that they avoid people somehow the compatibility is not there we are not compatible with the worldly people everybody knows this is that it so it is very natural but don't become anxious just check whether it is really necessary to meet the family members and other people but my advice is don't invite the trouble don't invite people to meet you that much we can do isn't it but if it is absolutely necessary then you should go and do the formality of meeting people and i'll tell you that these people will get so bored with you because spiritual person is really boring person for the worldly person isn't it <laughs> talks like crazy so uh, they will leave you initially there will be bonds there will be expectations slowly with time they get fed up they will leave you alone you don't need to leave anybody the anxiety is because they are probably mm, disturbing your peace of mind worldly people they have this ability to disturb peace because they are themselves disturbed most of them so like i stay a, lo- a long long way from the city from people because i became so sensitive but uh, you see sometimes you need to meet people sometimes you let the disturbance happen don't worry about it you know there is a person in your house you are meeting that person you are tolerating that person and over and above you are anxious and kind of disturbed that is unnecessary handle the situation say bye bye don't invite the situation that is my advice because that's what i do kanika is saying interest or not interest is activities of the mind knowing that it is just a mind how seeker should act uh, the criteria of importance how important it is how necessary it is to act is it absolutely necessary to act now whether this meeting whether it is job whether it is a family event what else do you have in your life now is it absolutely necessary then act on it if it is not no need plus there is one more thing which we do not say normally because <laughs> some people may not like it one more thing is there when we should act if you love it if you like it so much like you want to sing or you want to dance or probably you want to watch movies probably some people like it it is not necessary then you should not simply follow my instruction that guru ji told me not to act no 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 you love it you should do it what is the problematic action which brings bad consequences remember this much anything which brings bad consequences which stops your progress causes suffering causes harm to others we should not do that sometimes it becomes necessary do it no problem you know handle the consequences that is my advice and uh, this question keeps coming and i answer in the same way do that which is necessary do that which you love that that second one people may not like it i am a seeker why should i do unnecessary things <laughs> no no you need to fulfill your desires that is controversial part but it is left to you left to the seeker this body mind is nothing but vibrations vibrations of me only it is me only that is manifested as this body mind in the whole world also not only body mind all bodies are me so you don't feel any boundaries obviously there are no boundaries the boundary between one object and the other object is an illusion 
just like there is no boundary between one wave in the ocean and the other wave in the ocean even if these waves are far away they are connected by the essence by the substance water it's all water then snow ice water clouds everybody must have heard this metaphor so actually it is not there actually there is no body there is no mind there there are no boundaries so it is already connected to everything you what has happened your sensitivity has gone up now i don't want to go in that much detail uh, because it uh, comes under the occult now so these are called the non physical senses some people may know it <laughs> so these senses are picking up everything everything which is around you so it is when you rest the sensitivity is more when you are doing something these senses are dormant they are covered up in the activity your attention is somewhere else but when you are resting like when you are not asleep but sim- simply resting then you will become aware of these senses that is what is happening so they these senses means they are not used that much that means they will be disturbed by even tiny noises even if you are lying down in the room with eyes closed and somebody enters your front door you don't come to know but these senses they pick up something somebody is in the room and now you will feel it so it is nothing it is simply extra sensitivity and extra peace in the mind so you are getting what we call as manifestations a very very tangible effect of uh, being spiritual and why others are not getting or why only few people get it is probably you have some past practice probably you have gone through the practices some lifetime somewhere or probably you are naturally like this some people are like this so my suggestion is not to worry enjoy your nap <laughs> enjoy the disappearance of the boundaries and the bodies and minds it's already not there and if they are present fine <laughs> that is why we are here in the human form to experience the boundary to experience the limitation of the body mind it has some use it is useful so in the end it will become like this without boundaries without bodies it will become all one vibration i don't know how useful that is but that is the bliss state samadhi anyhow kanika is saying nothing is left to enjoy or love see we have discussed this so many times now you should do something which others enjoy and you should love others nothing is left for you that is true isn't it whatever was for me 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 only that was ego aham now the aham is killed <laughs> it's gone its illusion is seen there is no me i am the whole that that means there is no small me tiny thing human so it is thinking oh for me there is nothing now <laughs> but there are still my own forms they still have this ego they still want happiness they still want love so what do we do we give it because you are the source of enjoyment you are the source of love do that which is a service to others now that is a very tricky thing no thorny thing it is like uh, inserting your hand in the snake hole because people are not ready to take it isn't it it is like uh, putting your hand in fire the, the nature of the fire is to burn are people around you ready to receive your love and uh, your joy the happiness that you want to give them you want to fulfill their desires and so on are they ready to receive and you will see no 99% are not they will exploit you thinking that you are a fool stupid person trying to do something for me without asking anything in return and conditionally they will exploit you so here comes the discretion who is worthy it is not selfishness it is not the pride that i'll serve those who are worthy no no it is practical you need to serve those who are worthy now rest is your homework who is worthy you already know actually jagdish is saying will it be possible to live a life of ultimate freedom while being in body once you realize what you are you will see that you are the ultimate freedom being in the body does not mean loss of freedom it is freedom you have taken the body because you are free to take the body are you free to leave the body it looks like that right now i am not free to leave the body i am trapped in this one experience but see look are people trapped in this their body forever is this the law no for a little bit of time this human life is momentary it is not a bondage totally depends on what do you mean by ultimate freedom because you see ability to 
to take any form, to have any experience is the ultimate freedom. And that is your real nature. That is what you are already. That is what this program and the path of knowledge and all the scriptures and all the gurus are trying to teach you. Look, you are already that. So, it is, is it possible? Not only possible, it is already happening. Now, what is the problem with the body? Ignorance that I am this body and I am bound to it forever. Is there any truth in this statement? You will discover it yourself. Totally an assumption. This experience will last for some time. Gone. Bodies will be gone. You will come back. Actually, you are already your true nature right now also. But the true nature will be more, will be in foreground after the body is gone. That, that means death. Now the problem is, I don't know whether you know this or not. The bodies keep appearing. In this whole existence, there is never a time when I am not taking a body. I am means the existence. <laughs> not only one body, I am taking countless bodies. That is the freedom. What do you want? You can do that. And actually you are already doing it. The ignorance says that I am this human being in the body, limited by the body, and I am able to do very little. And actually I am burdened by so many things which I don't want to do, but I need to do it. That is the ignorance. So what is ultimate freedom? Freedom from ignorance only. Nothing else needs to be done. Yes, the bodies keep appearing. No problem. That is not my real nature. They are my forms. Somebody will say, I don't even want forms. But that is also ignorance because that is the mind that is saying. The ignorant mind is saying, I don't want forms. Probably had a bad experience <laughs> sometimes in the past. So now it is reacting only. I don't want forms. But uh, the existence is not saying anything. The existence is fully alive. Infinite forms. It says, I want forms. It never says, I don't want anything else. So you enjoy the body, you enjoy the human life, you turn 180 degree, reverse your assumptions, reverse your thinking that it is a bondage. Remember, if you were happy as a human, you will never complain that I am in bondage, I don't have ultimate. Because you are enjoying like anything, <laughs> you even forget who you are. You are the experiencer, the ultimate reality is you. But if you are enjoying the human life, you forget it. That is what happened to the higher forms, isn't it? The gods and goddesses, they have forgotten who they are. This apparent suffering causes you to question the reality of the bodies and the world. See how useful this is. This is a boon. This is your good luck that you got this form so that the realization can ultimately happen here. So if you are enjoying, you are in bliss, you are utilizing this structure of body-mind, no problem. If you are thinking, where am I? I got stuck in this thing. I got stuck in this hellish world. People are bad. You know, now, this is a big problem. This is a big problem. And this will happen only if you have ignorance. So we have the solution for this. That is called path of knowledge, isn't it? Path of knowledge is the solution for your problem. You are not in the body. That much you should understand. Being in body, you are writing as if you reside in the body or you are tied to the body. No, you are simply experiencing it. And like this, you are experiencing infinite amount of bodies. But this creature does not know this. This creature, human being, does not understand even 1% of what is happening. When will you understand? As you progress, that is called spiritual evolution. We are putting you on this progressive path, path of progress. It starts by knowing what is true, what is false. My, who is me? Who am I? What is my nature? This is the first step. Then there is ultimate freedom to do whatever you want. Don't like the body? Okay. Something else? Don't want the form? Realize you are formless? Don't like the world? Realize it is illusion? It is a movie? You are the screen? Then now the whole project becomes to get the evidence of this thing. Isn't it? How can I simply assume whatever you are saying? No, no. These are not assumptions. There is proper evidence. And there is no limit to how much research you can do here. You, you can gather thousands of evidences if you want. Not only that which are given in the program or in the scriptures. You are free to explore. You are the explorer, not the one who is suffering. You need to give up that attitude. You are not in the body, not tied to the body. Even the body is illusion. It is momentary, does not last. See, so all these thoughts are the problem. The ignorant thoughts are the problem. 
whatever is happening is perfect <laughs> so this program will give you more clarity and walking on spiritual path any spiritual path will free you completely freedom is freedom from ignorance you are not bound so you cannot become free only the realization is that everything is perfect my attitude my thinking my wrong notions were a problem that is the final realization okay ruchika is saying in one hindi satsang you said that in control is not to stop the vritti one may also increase samvritti can you please explain it more can we also make a new nice tendency consciously and wisely yes 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 see the control does not mean only to limit if you are completely free then you should be able to increase also why not but would you want to increase something unnecessarily no our intellect says that if it is not necessary do not increase it so if you are really free if you are in control then you should be able to decrease and you should be able to increase also it is not one way that only decreasing the vrittis or the activities of the mind is the control no 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 you are free do whatever you want increase it the thing is what are the consequences you should think about them what what will be the consequences of increasing something for example let us take emotions you are free to increase the emotions also consciously and wisely yes wisely is a important word here so what will be the consequence now you see too much emotions they cause problems what happens if you decrease to decrease it too much like become a stone not feeling not reacting to anything that also causes problem everything has consequences so the real control is balance not to increase or decrease if it is very less we increase it if it is too much decrease it that is wisdom that is balance so all the vrittis should happen in a balanced way like you said i don't become angry sometimes you need to become angry people don't listen to you if you have children and so on they don't listen to you <laughs> so you become angry for 5 minutes because too much softness is causing problem in your life but you are you are always angry ah that is a, out of control isn't it so balance 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 every tendency is like this too much love for others now just like i said it will cause problems you need to maintain distance sometimes too much distance you are not ta- even talking to anybody okay big problem so come back in the middle always so how to do it consciously you need to be aware of what is happening in your mind awareness awareness practice sakshi bhav then you will be able to see what is going on in the mind and then intention make an intention to increase it or decrease it decide if you don't know the meaning of intention decide firmly only this should happen and then take some steps to do it that's all is needed that is the conscious control what happens in an ordinary person situations are doing whatever they are doing situations control them other people control them so take the control and then do whatever is needed if you are not even able to see what is happening in this mind control is not possible how will you see what is happening here in inside me in inside the mind awareness how will you get awareness self knowledge self realization i am not the mind it is a machine it is an experience that is not me and that much knowledge will bring the control now how will you get knowledge yes the path of knowledge program or evidences without the program you can get the evidence fine very good but one in a million can do that others need guidance others people like us ordinary seekers they need this kind of hand holding they need to be shown so continue in the program everything will happen at the right time if you want to do it today probably it may not happen you know that much control has is not there so patience is needed patience and the firm belief that my spiritual practice is good enough to take me there whatever i want whatever control i want and then experiment this whole spiritual practice is simply an experiment if it fails you do something else very simple so i think we'll end this this meeting today here and uh, hopefully useful for everybody and i'll see you next time thank you everybody for coming in the meeting